Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfat. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa visited today the General Command of Bahrain Defense Force, the BDF. Upon arrival, His Majesty was received by the Commander in Chief of the BDF, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, and the Defense Affairs Minister, Lieutenant General Yusuf bin Ahmed Al Jalahma. His Majesty was accompanied by the Minister of the Royal Court, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, the Commander of the Royal Guard, Designers Brigadier General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the Commander of the Royal Guard Special Forces, Highness Major General Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Majesty expressed appreciation and pride in the BDF and its officers who continue to protect the safety, stability, gains and unity of the kingdom. He hailed their courage, discipline and determination in carrying out their noble duties. His Majesty added that their ability to employ modern technologies leads to military industrialization to further fortify the military system of the BDF. He also praised their continuous successes and achievements in Operation Restoring Hope in Yemen alongside their brothers in the Arab coalition led by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia in support of justice and legitimacy against terrorism. He commended the 10th Joint Command and Staff Session graduation ceremony, which was held under his patronage. He wished to graduate success in serving their countries and nation. His Majesty wished all the BDF affiliates success in carrying out their duties. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa visited the Majlis of the late Sheikh Mohammed bin Hamad bin Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, where His Majesty offered his condolences to the sons and grandsons of the deceased, deceased, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest his soul in eternal peace. His Majesty highlighted the achievements of the deceased that contributed to the development of the country. The sons and grandsons of the deceased, led by the Minister of Finance Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa and Sheikh Hamad bin Mohammed Al Khalifa expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty for his kind sentiments, wishing him abundant health and happiness and to the people of Bahrain for their progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at the Dhabiya Palace a number of royal family members and senior officials in the presence of the Ambassador of Kuwait to Bahrain, Dean of the Diplomatic Corps, Sheikh Azam Mbarak al Sabah. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister affirmed that the leaders and governments of the Gulf Cooperation Council countries have provided numerous services to their people and noted that the development witnessed in various economic, social, and human fields is the result of leaderships who have placed the interests of the Gulf citizens as a top priority. His Royal Highness stressed the importance of maintaining the gains of the GCC with further cooperation and coordination in light of the region's and the world's current challenges. The Premier affirmed the importance of increasing Gulf meetings at all levels to intensify coordination and consultation regarding security and economic development and to preserve the achievements of the GCC and its people. He affirmed the Kingdom's keenness on bolstering Gulf cooperation. His Royal Highness reviewed with the Kuwaiti Ambassador the course of historic brotherly relations between Bahrain and Kuwait and the development of bilateral cooperation to achieve common interests. The Prime Minister praised the role of the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah al-Ahmed al-Jabbar al-Sabah, 
in supporting the GCC march and his contributions in Gulf and Arab affairs. His Royal Highness expressed the Kingdom's pride in the Bahraini-Kuwaiti ties, affirming the keenness to strengthen bilateral cooperation and coordination in various fields. The first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Athletics Association and Honorary President of Bahrain Sports Federation for Disabilities, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, affirmed that his directive to hold a course for referees, technicians and organizers comes in line with His Highness's keenness on enhancing cooperation and coordination between related committees for the optimal preparation for the second edition of the strongest Bahraini man competition. His Highness stated that the course marks one of the goals of the competition's second edition, expressing aspiration to develop the abilities and potentialities of Bahraini youth participating in the organizational, technical and refereeing operation. He hailed the efforts of the competition's Supreme Organizing Committee in holding the course and preparing for the qualifications, directing the committee to prepare for the second course that will be held in the current month, which will be a continuation for the goals of the first course. Many are the goals that led to host four training courses for referees, organizers and technicians of the strongest Bahraini Man Championship, partly in light of the huge success of the first edition. The courses are set to drive the championship's team to professionalism and to instill the spirit of teamwork. They are divided into theoretical and technical categories, with a focus on developing the personality of a professional referee in order to achieve the highest success rates. Of course, this is the first uh, training of uh, referees for the strongest man, Bahrain's for, uh, strongest man. And the goal or, or aim was to perform, increase the um, uh, perform of the referees and pro in, in professional ways. And the most important point is also to do a teamwork. There are so many committees. Sometimes you are failed to uh, success on yani, the top level. Because of some mistakes, there is no relationship between the committees. This is the aim or should be of uh, the professional uh, trainings. So this is, was my aim or goal. And the second thing is the technical. Even the technician or technical ways, even the other committees, they have to know. You know, because they have to know what they are doing. Any mistakes, at least they have some ideas and again i say uh, the most important things to build strong teamwork the first deputy president of the supreme council for youth and sports and president of bahrain athletics association his highness sheikh khalid bin hamad al khalifa has launched the strongest bahraini man championship to build the abilities of bahraini youth and to create a generation capable of organizing and directing sporting events with a high level of expertise and skill Under the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, the Southern Governor Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa conducted an inspection visit to Khalifa City to view the completion rate of the housing and service projects and to inspect the infrastructure projects in the presence of the Minister of Housing, Basim bin Yaqub Al Hamad, the Under Secretary of the Ministry of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Ahmed Al Khayyad, and the Assistant Under Secretary for Sports and Establishments Affairs in the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs. 
Tangiers, Khalid Al Hajj. The southern governor was briefed on the Khalifa city project, the number of the distributed housing units, the city's upcoming stages, and the developments of the health and services projects, affirming the importance of speeding up the project to fulfill the citizens' needs. For his part, the housing minister expressed thanks and appreciation for the governor's visit, stating that it reflects his interest in the housing and services field. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, met with the Under Secretary General for Africa and the Middle East at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Brazil, Ambassador Fernando Jose Maroni de Abreu, and his accompanying delegation, which is on an official visit to Bahrain. The two parties signed a memorandum of understanding on political consultation between the Ministries of Foreign Affairs of Bahrain and Brazil. The Minister of Foreign Affairs expressed pride and appreciation for the distinguished friendly relations between Bahrain and Brazil. He affirmed the keenness of Bahrain to enhance these relations and develop cooperation at all levels for the benefit of both countries and their people. For his part, the Brazilian ambassador stressed the keenness of his country to strengthen relations of friendship with Bahrain, wishing the kingdom further progress and prosperity. The meeting also discussed views on the most important issues of mutual interest at both the regional and international levels. Upon the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and following the order of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to distribute 5,000 housing units, housing units, the Housing Minister Abbas bin Yagub Al Hamar started to receive today beneficiary batches of Khalifa Town housing units. The Minister pointed out that the Ministry is seeking to accelerate the completion rates in all stages of work in Khalifa Town, which is witnessing great progress according to the schedule prepared for the implementation of various projects. He underscored the Ministry's implementation of five new housing projects to be carried out simultaneously with Khalifa Town in order to speed up the delivery of housing units to beneficiaries. The Minister stressed Khalifa Town is one of the main projects of the Ministry's program to construct 25,000 housing units. Al Hamar noted that these achievements were the result of the directives of His Majesty the King and the directives of the government led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, as well as the continuous follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. The ban imposed on outdoor work from noon between 12 to 4 p.m. will begin today according to Decision 3 of 2013. The ban is supervised by the Labour and Social Development Ministry and will run until August the 31st. The Ministry called on the installations with outdoor work sites to be committed to the ban and provide all means to protect workers from potential summer diseases and injuries. They were also requested to organize their working hours during the afternoon ban to ensure projects and business businesses all over the country are not affected. The Ministry directed institutions to spread awareness through billboards and multilingual leaflets and through informing business owners and workers about summer diseases. The Ministry will conduct inspection visits to different locations to monitor violators and release a record of violation in preparation for the referral to the public prosecution. Violators of the ministerial decision will be subject to legal accountability and double the financial fine should the violation recur. Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry stepped up cooperation with the Diplomatic Business Club and signed an MOU at Beit Tijar today. More on this report with Heba Abdel Ghaffar. As part of the efforts to make Bahrain the region's business and investment hub, Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry and the Diplomatic Business Club held a meeting today consolidating efforts to reinforce collaboration between business owners and investors and highlight lucrative business opportunities. From his side, Chairman of Bahrain, Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Mr. Samir Nas, hailed the initiative and reaffirmed the Chamber's keenness in supporting all endeavors that aim at promoting the Kingdom of Bahrain and reinforcing business relations with brotherly and friendly countries. An opportunity for, for us, for Bahrain and the Chamber of Commerce, to promote Bahrain uh, overseas in the UK and the rest of Europe. 
to uh, look at the opportunities of uh, potential investments in Bahrain and uh, to attract and we uh, this is a platform for us to be able to uh, expose Bahrain in the uh, business for the business community and parliament in the UK the president of the Diplomatic Business Club, Mr. David Malik, also presented Mr. Nas an honorary board membership at the club and invited the chamber to take part in this special event themed Bahrain Opportunities Forum, which will be held on the 19th of July 2018 at the Palace of Westminster in London. Bahrain is positioning itself as a gateway to the Gulf and I think that this message needs to be conveyed more forcefully uh, around the world and you know since we have the platform available of the Diplomat Business Club we would like to make a humble contribution towards propagating and highlighting and promoting this positive message about Bahrain. Concluding the meeting, a memorandum of understanding outlining the scope of cooperation between the Diplomatic Business Club and the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry was signed. Signing ceremony of the Memorandum of Understanding between Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry and the Diplomatic Business Club is part of the amazing efforts to promote Bahrain as an investment hub and a gateway to the Gulf. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Heba Abdel Ghaffour. An award ceremony was organized by the visitors section at the Ahmed Al Fatah Islamic Center to honor more than 100 volunteers for their remarkable efforts in volunteering and bringing awareness to the Arab and Islamic culture to more than 40,000 visitors yearly. More in this report. The Ahmed Al Fatah Islamic Center held an award ceremony where more than 100 volunteers were recognized for their volunteer work and remarkable efforts. The volunteers who were awarded were praised for their outstanding role in helping different cultures understand the Islamic religion and the Arab culture. Basically, uh, the center is uh, promoting the message of peace and love and brotherhood and peaceful co coexistence among all religious faiths. We receive visitors from all different backgrounds. Our volunteers, uh, because we're only about six full-time staff, and out of this we have 40,000, we cannot handle all of them, so we need our volunteers to help us in handling so many visitors coming to our center. Of course, we are giving the good image of Bahrain. We try to promote the positive uh, side of Bahrain. We show the Islamic culture, the, the hospitality of the Bahraini people, and we try to explain uh, issues that they need to be uh, explained, like issues about Islam that are misunderstood. And most of them, they experience for the first time a true Islamic uh, atmosphere in the mosque. And they get to know about uh, Bahraini culture and Islamic culture. And they feel very close to our community. So it's basically to build bridges with people of all faiths. And we have found that there's a very positive impact. They live with a very good impression. They live uh, praising the center and praising the people in charge for, and the ministry for allowing them to come. Some of them is their first time. And we find that they, they would love to come back again. They say, we're we going to spread the message of peace that you're promoting here to the rest of the world. They will be our ambassadors. And this way, we're going to create a very good image about Bahrain internationally. This is a volunteer appreciation uh, event. Uh, we are uh, the visiting section at Ahmad Al Fatih Islamic Center. And uh, we receive a lot of visitors uh, who come from all uh, countries, all nationalities, different languages. So we depend a lot on uh, volunteers. We have more than 100 volunteers who speak many languages and uh, they show the tourists around the mosque and uh, our mission is to bring people together and uh, uh, today is just a small uh, thank you uh, party for uh, the, uh, the volunteers to thank them for their hard work uh, during 2017-2018. Uh, uh, the Ahmed Al Fatih Islamic Center, which includes the mosque, a department for Quran studies, and an Islamic library, performs various activities and runs a long list of events, which is run entirely by a team of volunteers, such as the Eid open house, workshops, daily visiting programs, summer camps, and training courses, which allows visitors and tourists from around the world to experience the Arab culture and a unique insight into Islam, fostering a culture of peace in the kingdom. This is the annual uh, get-together for the Volunteers Appreciation Ceremony and we are going to uh, honour the people who, are helped us, who have helped us all throughout the year. We have different activities in Ahmed Al Fatih Islamic Centre and there are lots of people who are coming and giving their efforts. 
free of charge you know so we have to appreciate their efforts and it is part of the sunnah of our rasul sallam to thank the people because those who do not thank people they do not thank allah right so we need to thank them and appreciate their efforts of course it is is not enough there cannot be anything that we can do to really really appreciate what they are doing but this is within our capacity what we can do The visiting section at Al Fatah Islamic Center reaches out to over a 40,000 visiting tourists annually, and the ceremony aims to encourage the continuation of volunteer work in the kingdom, which is considered one of the most noble human qualities.